And I wrestled the Hardy Boys for the tag team titles, who I idolized as a kid. I mean, I idolized these guys. The very next day, it became business. As fucked up as that may sound. Yeah. I promise you, when I checked that off my bucket list, it was the worst thing they could have done for me. They shouldn't have booked me on that WrestleMania. So I probably wouldn't have showed up at Survivor Series and slammed the door shut and got my closure because I, that was it. I wrestled the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania on the same card as The Undertaker. Got eliminated in the Royal Rumble by Brock Lesnar in the same one that The Undertaker was in. And the Hardy Boys come back to the loudest noise I've ever heard in my life, maybe to this day. You know, I'm sitting there like, then when that day came, I never cared about titles. I never had one. Never understood it. What it could do for you and your career. I never knew what it could do. But it bodes extremely well for Enzo the heel. Enzo the heel has the ability to be one of the greatest champions in the history of our business. Ever. Ever. Because I could talk it all day. And I'll make you fucking hate me more than anybody ever. You know why? Because I won't hit a single wrestling move in the whole match. I'll kick him in the nuts and pin him. And leave there with the title. And more importantly, the ability to say that I'm the best in the world. That's the best part about being a heel. Is if you're Ric Flair and you're begging off. And you're like, no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Right. But then you low blow. One, two, three. Bleeding out the top of your head with a smile. And then the next night on Raw, you're like, I gave him the worst ass kicking of his life. And I'm the best in the world because I'm the champion. And he doesn't ever want to see me again because I mopped the floors with him. And you all saw it. Right? And then the guy comes out and you run out. Of the ring. Like a pussy. That, in essence, is the champion I wanted to be. I was like, dude, I do WrestleMania. Me and Big Cass don't have much of a storyline running. And I got to get the screws and the plate removed out of my leg. I won't get into details as to why I didn't do it. But I didn't end up getting them taken out. And I think it's as simple as understanding the pressure that is in pro wrestling. If I get screws and a plate taken out of my leg on $125,000 downside, I'm going to make the reflective of that on a 52-week basis. So I make $125,000 a year. I'm only going to make this money after four weeks when I get put on injured reserve, IR. Four weeks, I don't get paid. Now I'm on IR. But if I wrestle, I get paid. Right. And I get paid per show. And I get to be out there and sell merchandise. Now I'm going to take a six-figure loss if I get these screws and plates taken out of my leg. It's crazy. You got to think like that, but yeah, I got you.